morning everybody it's officially saint patrick's day weekend and i am so happy because i cannot wait until it's over it has been a very very busy week filming for tiktok and youtube and ugc content and although i'm very happy that we do get to do this it's a lot it's very draining i'm starting to rather youtube a bit more than tiktok because with youtube i feel like i can talk more people can get to know me a bit better and then with tiktok it's more like a snippet of what people get to see of me when youtube it's like the real version whether you like it or not it's the real version we're not really doing much this weekend mainly today we're going to be trying to go to the library to print off some a receipt to print off a receipt to return some clothes back to sheen we're just going to try and keep this log very natural very calm very normal so yeah Let's get started. A page. Didn't say send back package though. Why not? I forgot. I like to plan all my days in this little book because I forget what to say very, very easily. And this is what I have for today. And I already forgot what I have to say. Today is going to be a very, very busy day with a lot of content to create, but I want to get my room fixed. Firstly, I don't usually get a chance to give my room a proper in-depth clean throughout the week because of schoolwork, creating videos. So I want to take this time to actually hoover my room properly, change my bedding and dust my shelf a little bit because that thing gets very, very dusty very quickly. Before I make any TikTok videos or UGC content, I always have to clean my room and clean the rest of my house. Of course, Marie does as well, but she just doesn't do it as much as I do it. We've never really shown any type of content like this on our TikTok or our YouTube. I am a bit of a clean freak, I like change my bed in every once a week. I try to hoover my room every day as well and give it a wipe around because when you're doing TikTok videos, especially makeup ones and hair ones, you end up getting so much hair and makeup everywhere. Mainly fingerprints on the doors and random broken bobbins on the floor. My opinion, I think you might agree with me, there's no such better thing than a fresh room. I got my water this weird cream colour, there's only a certain amount of bedding that I can use on my bed. This set is by far my favourite. I hovered down all my surfaces and my floors and then I did a quick wipe around, but I have zero storage on this camera, so I didn't get a chance to record that. I love having my bookshelf, but it gets so dusty and so hard to clean all the time. It is probably the only nicest thing in my room at this point. Some of them bags were actually from Sheen, and we also got some other stuff, but they didn't end up turning out great, so we had to print off a label. But the library ended up being closed. We forgot that it was a bank holiday weekend. Seeing as we were already there, we decided just to have a little browse around in the shops. You know, I pick out a fresh outfit or cherry for each other. I'm about four foot night, so everything in this section would actually fit me. It's only now that the kids' clothes are actually starting to look nice when I'm not a kid anymore. If you know the ones, you know that they never change anything in their shops, really. But as the famous Sophie Ella would say, run, don't walk the duns. We just went back home and created some UGC and TikTok videos Good after that. St. Patrick's Day today. So we ended the vlog yesterday at the shops we were meant to go to the library to print off a sheen label for a package we want to return some sheen dresses because we don't actually like the way they turned out so we want to get rid of them but the library was closed so we couldn't do that so we're gonna have to wait until after st patrick's day break to go and do that yeah so now today i think we're just gonna be going to local parade and that is it marie's off to get dressed right now and okay. i am not wearing green because who do you think i am who yeah. do you think i am I'm not going to get dressed just yet because I want to do a quick get dressed with me on TikTok. I did wash my hair this morning, excuse the state if I still have to dry it. But honestly, I was sick of having a greasy. I didn't want to have a greasy a second longer. I got a chance to film some UGC content yesterday. I didn't get any chance because the lighting just went horrible after about five minutes. So hopefully when we come back, I might get a chance to film one or two things, maybe. Honestly, I think this is going to be the most difficult thing about doing UGC in Ireland is that the weather is never good. Maybe during the summertime I might get a bit more chance to do anything, but when the lighting is good, you kind of have to cram everything in one go. So we are new to this, so I'm going to try and not put the pressure on myself. I'm just going to try and experiment it with it a little bit, try out new things. I think that's why I'm going to be doing this UGC. A bit different than our normal TikTok videos, but it does give you a chance to kind of make your videos a little bit more professional about the things that you like recording anyways. The way I always like to describe my makeup routine is I always try to go for it simply, but it ends up not going very well for me most of the time. One crucial mistake I always make, I always use too much dark foundation. Tan drops and tinted sunscreen should not go together, but I didn't think of that. Normally I don't use tinted sunscreen or foundation when I'm just going off, but I just decided to try it this one time. I use this lighter concealer because all of my rest are just running out. And I normally just use them on themselves with a bit of contour. This is the Morphe Red Blush. I recently started using this. It actually is the nicest colour I've ever used. Red Blush is just it for me, I think. 
on the best lip combo of all time, Penny's Lip Liner and Too Faced Lipstick. And I was ready. We just went and got our tickets. Seeing Bob Marley, that's literally the only film option that we had. To our local parade, I didn't record anything. Honestly, there's literally nothing else to do except for go to the cinemas. There's literally nothing to do for young people unless you're really, really young on St. Patrick's Day or an album. We just ordered our Burger King. Oh. <laughs> That's how we spent our St. Patrick's Day weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.